Hi, I'm Brian. I wrote CodeKit, and this video is all about how you can use the app to run arbitrary scripts as your files change. We call this feature Hooks, and it's really easy to set up. What I've got is a new Zurb Foundation 5 project in CodeKit here, a clean install, and I've opened app.scss in my editor over here. And what I'm looking for is whenever I save this file, I want to run a certain piece of Apple script. And to set this up, all I need to do is open the project settings area in CodeKit, choose the Hooks category, add a new hook, which I can rename if I'd like, and then choose the rules for when this hook will run and tell CodeKit if it's Apple script or a bash script at the terminal. And then I can come in here and just paste in the code that I want to run. So I have that prepared. Here's a short Apple script that just brings CodeKit to the front and displays an alert. I'll close this out, come back and save this file with command S. And there we go. The alert comes up as soon as the file finishes compiling. That's how easy it is to set up new hooks in CodeKit. Now, there's a few details you should know about hooks before you use them. For starters, AppleScript based hooks are always executed on CodeKit's main thread because AppleScript itself is not thread safe. And what this means is that if you enter a really long piece of AppleScript in the box here, you're going to see CodeKit's UI hang until that script finishes running. And that's normal, you're not doing anything wrong, just be aware of it. Shell scripts, on the other hand, are executed on a background thread, so the UI should remain responsive the entire time they're running. Next up, be aware that hooks run with the privileges of the current user. And most of us use admin level accounts, so your hooks are going to run with admin level privileges. And there's also no safety net to protect you from yourself. So if I came here and selected shell script and then typed rm tilde slash documents dash rf, I would have entered a hook that's about to nuke my entire documents folder the next time I save a file in this project. CodeKit's not going to ask me for confirmation, it's going to execute the hook I told it to run. So make sure you double check your code and are absolutely positive what's going to run when this hook is applied. Now that brings up an interesting point because hooks are synced across Macs just like all other project settings. So if you're working in a team environment and one evil coworker enters that RM hook in here, that'll be synced to everybody else's Mac on the team as they refresh this project. But CodeKid's very smart because it knows when this source code has changed outside of your copy of the app. And whenever that happens, you'll see a pop-up alert come up and the app will automatically turn off this hook until you come in here and manually approve the code and re-enable it. That'll stop somebody from destroying your Mac using synced hooks. Finally, when your project uses hooks, you need to be a little careful. First, don't press Command S five times in two seconds because that'll cause CodeKit to dispatch your hooks over and over and over again and can lead to instability. And secondly, if your hook has any kind of problem or throws an exception, it's likely going to crash CodeKit along the way. That's all right. The app will come back. Just fix the hook and get back to work. And that's really all there is to it. Thanks for using CodeKit and take care.